Talking about kick. Now um, you're you're doing the screenplay for a, for a Salman Khan movie, which is uh, the movie The South version. It's like an out and out masala film. Yeah. So how has that been experience? It was very challenging actually. I did it for the challenge only. I did it like, and I asked Nadir, "Well, why you get a Chetan Bhagat here? You have a Telugu DVD. Just make it." And he said, "I don't want to make it exactly like that. He he wanted to uh, bring a story element in it. He wanted to bring characterization in it. He wanted a better, more contemporary setting in it. So we." we've had to do that because it was really a out and out masala film it just right. opens and people are beating each other up and then they're laughing and then, and i was like what is this and then uh, we we but we like the concept it is about a man who lives for his kick it's not about kicking people around it's the the noun kick like my kick that i feel of uh, adrenaline rush which i think works with salman really really well he mm. a man who lives for his kick and that's then we started working from there and we worked on the screenplay and uh, and nadirwala really lifted the uh, what do they call it here the the profile of the movie or the backdrop of the uh, movie because he's really gone to poland to shoot it and and you know in in, in the sets they had put up in mehboob studio looked like a palace and the movie is going to look really really beautiful Okay, and uh, many people have had this feeling that Salman is uh, becoming a bit repetitive with movies, and yeah. uh, we we saw the way it, it just transpired with with Jeho. Somehow, people are not really uh, all that supportive of the fact that you know action scenes honge, uh-huh. item songs honge, and dialogue bazi hogi, and all that, and it becomes like a Salman Khan blockbuster. <laughs> so, uh, are you guys uh, have you guys altered anything post it's Jeho? It's a balance. Jeho? I think. I don't think there's anything post Jai Ho because mm. uh, the kick script was done before Jai Ho and mm. the shooting. Also any was. any alterations? Any, any nothing suggestions? really. I think the uh, if at all we had. Because Salman has his own suggestions as well, and he has of his own dialogues. Of course, of course he does. See, you cannot not do some of those things. Mm. Just because you want to give something fresh to the audience doesn't mean Salman should not fight now, mm. or Salman should not have an item song. Then mm. uh, there is a industry of Salman Khan fans mm. who are coming and waiting for kick to redeem. Mm. uh salman khan this eel so we have to give them uh, the ct moments and the we have to do that having said that we can't only rely on that we have to give a storyline we have to give characterization uh, we have to give salman a little more uh, depth to his character so we've tried to do that but it is a commercial blockbuster there is no doubt it is mm. not a movie which is going to disappoint salman khan fans uh, but at the same time i am hoping with the way we've written it a lot of multiplex guys will also come and watch and they won't feel oh my god what is this so salman movies are being watched in the multiplexes now yeah. there is there is the, what we saw with veer actually it's it's not it's not the case anymore yeah or ekta okay. tiger or you know ha obviously it's so we are trying in that zone that we, hmm. we can get i i can try and do some multiplex stuff and nadir hmm. wala can do some and we can have a happy meeting of the two okay and are you writing any dialogues for that as well uh not really rajat arora is doing the dialogues so i, I wrote I, i i write dialogues in english and sometimes in hindi so if somebody is uh, staying in london they'll use the english one only or something like that but the hindi dialogues are, and even uh, i would say some of the contributions to the screenplay also rajat arora is doing he's very accomplished he did uh, no, no, he's, he's, picture he's damn good in fact once upon a time in mumbai once upon a time in mumbai part 1 was far better than part 2 in fact